And a top story this hour, the situation has deteriorated in Olivenhoed Bosch. A tense standoff has developed between police and residents where protesters are using stones and tires to blockade roads in the community. Residents are demanding the local councillor Cedric Zela be re recalled with immediate effect, alleging corrupt dealings. Residents in Olivenhoed Bosch area with tear gas and rubber bullets fired to try to disperse the angry crowd. South African Police Service spokesperson K. Makubela joins us now. Thank you so much for your time. If you'll just give us the details as to what's currently happening there. We reported on very tense uh, situation between residents and the police. Uh, yes, uh, indeed, the situation is tense, particularly next to the councillor's house where they uh, went and tried to damage the house after they have handed over the memorandum during the day. And there are people who are against the damaging of the councillor's house who are protecting their house. So far, the police have come in between and uh, make sure that uh, the situation is uh, calm. And at the moment, uh, we are continuing monitoring the area. Um, but so far, we had already arrested uh, two suspects for public violence who were involved in the throwing stones to the councillor's house. All right. Was there any way for the police to avert uh, this particular incident, particularly when it comes to damage to private property? Uh, well, remember, the, 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 when the police were at the vicinity where the memorandum was handed over, as the agreement of the uh, permission given to the protesters, uh, after they dispersed from the uh, place where they handed over the memorandum, they we had an impression that they are dispersing and they are going to their uh, homes, only to find that later on we were called that they are this group who are throwing stone to the councillor's house. That's when we went and intervened and also found that there are other group who were protecting the house by uh, uh, fighting against those who were uh, to damage the councillor's house. All right, now for residents that live in Olivenhout, uh, Bosch, uh, which areas are particularly affected uh, and what are the alternative routes? Well, at the moment, the routes are all open and they uh, are, are moving in and out. The police are patrolling around. Uh, so far, we don't know what may prompt later, but we will be keeping an eye on that. Would you say that there was also a level of criminality while the residents had a legitimate protest uh, against lack of service delivery, that uh, there were uh, opportun you know, opportunists who took advantage of the situation? Yes, indeed. We, we, we believe that uh, it's what happened because after they uh, were dispersed uh, by rubber bullets from the house of the councillor, some of the uh, community members went and tried to loot in one of the uh, shop around the area. And indeed, uh, that is a sign of the people who are taking advantage of what was uh, happening to uh, be involved in their criminal activities. Can you give us a sense of the extent of the damage so far? You mentioned that there was an attempt to loot a, a shop owner's uh, premises. Uh, yes, uh, it is a little bit uh, looted, but the police managed to uh, defuse the situation earlier. Uh, the shop is now closed, and also other shops around the area, uh, they are closed. So far, we will be continuing monitoring the situation as I speak. All right, we're going to leave it there. Thanks indeed for your time. That's South African Police Service spokesperson K. Makobela. Uh, Oliver Holt uh, Bosch is uh, rather tense at the moment with residents and uh, police are clashing. We believe the crowd has been dispersed. Police earlier had to use rubber bullets to control the crowds. And essentially, this was around service delivery frustrations, which then escalated in a shop or two being um, vandalized. Uh, but uh, the details so far are still sketchy. That's a story we'll, we'll keep an eye on for you.